Sounds awfully exotic to this Kansas kid. We're going to go to Australia. We're going to have the first CPAC. They have a combination of hope and desperation. They want to help their fellow countrymen pursue freedom and attain it. And at the same time, they are so aware of the forces arrayed against them. It was rather shocking to see that the legislature in Australia literally wanted to ban us from, from coming and some of our speakers. The Home Affairs Minister is encouraging a cavalcade of intolerance to continue at CPEC's talk fest of hate. The first Australian Conservative Political Action Conference will get underway in Sydney today amid ongoing controversy. CPAC was a debate within the Australian Parliament, the very fact that we would go there. So what that tells me is that the First Amendment that we have in our Constitution, which is a concept that we think is mostly accepted in these other free countries, actually isn't. Keneally did more to drum up publicity for a Conservative conference on the weekend than anyone else, smearing any other Conservative who dared to turn up and discuss politics with other Conservatives. We get to Australia. Uh, we were not arrested, but we ran into Antifa, hundreds of Antifa protesters protesting us in Sydney, Australia. CPAC really must buck their ideas up. I'm told that only 200 protesters are expected today. You really must do better than that next year. I went out to see it because I couldn't believe it. I thought Antifa was an American radicalized left-wing phenomenon. No, it's not. It's, it's gone global. What I'm really excited about what the American Conservative Union is doing is yet you're going to create relationships across borders between like-minded people. You know, we are part of an international movement. Uh, whatever our country is, we're fighting against these big globalist forces. But everybody lining up and telling us that if we dared to vote for Brexit, plagues of black locusts would descend on our land. But it didn't matter. We voted Brexit. And then a few months later, in America, despite the fact that on that very morning, the Huffington Post said that Hillary, the blessed Hillary, had a 98% chance of winning. And yet what happened? The Donald swept to victory. Who'd have believed that? Some people have asked me, why is ACU getting involved in these international programs? We're the American Conservative Union, after all. We're not the International Conservative Union. The forces arrayed against us are growing faster than the alternative. You've got the George Soros billionaires and others who are funding these efforts. They don't like the idea of individual liberty. If we do not take this opportunity, freedom could be lost. The whole world is watching. What does America do in 2020? It's not an American question. It's a question they're asking in all the major communities around the globe.